my day-to-day -day role varies a lot depending on which placement I'm in, but at the moment I'm with the design team and it involves a lot of calculation work and sorting out Excel macros. Network Rail supports my career progression through the main story training that we all get put on, through the option to sign up to other training that would be beneficial in my role, and obviously I've also got my line manager and my mentor who can help me. I think the biggest challenge I face is not overstretching myself. There's so many placements I can get involved in, so many projects I can help out with. There's plenty of volunteering opportunities and conferences to attend and things like that. So a few examples of projects I've worked on are uh, building a carbon model um, of electrification. Um, I worked on a geometry tool to analyze overhead line geometry and compliance. And I also helped coordinate a university research project. There are plenty of opportunities to share experiences and speak to other colleagues. So the main one being at technical training where all of the graduates will be staying together in one place for two weeks. I think my role contributes to the Network Rail Sustainability Goals because I work around um, the overhead line electrification, which is the main way that we're going to achieve decarbonisation of the railway. Uh, that's the view of the company and that's the view of the wider rail industry. The most unexpected positive I experienced when I joined Network Rail was when I participated in the IMACI's Future of Rail competition, um, which I presented work I'd done previously in an industry placement. I won the regional heats and progressed to the national final. To someone sitting on the fence as to whether they should apply to the Crow grad scheme, I'd say if you want to be involved in the design and maintenance of complex and interdisciplinary infrastructure and safety is important to you, then you should absolutely apply.